everyone. Welcome to video number two of Equestrian Alchemy. Uh, today I wanted to break down the Waltze a little bit more. And what the Waltze is, is basically a, a turn on the haunches and um, or a pivot, whatever terminology uh, you're used to using, uh, done at Liberty. And so I'm going to go through the process here, show you what it is, and then show you the breakdown of how to get there in the past video I talked about how I like to use it to gain more collection when I'm working at Liberty um, or perhaps to bring their attention back to me a little bit more. So when I work on something like this, uh, particularly if you're at the stage where you're teaching it for the first time, you want to make sure that your horse is focused on you and is listening to you. And so that's what I'm doing walking around with her, just making sure um, she's listening and ready to go. So that way we can work on this. Before you get started with the waltz, you, you wanna make sure that you have your basic movements for Liberty down. So being able to send them out, bring them in, and turn directions. And the way I like to have it is I like them to turn in towards me. And change directions like that. So you see there she offered the waltz, which is not actually what I was asking for. Let me brought her in, did a little bit of refocusing. So notice, there we go. So I'm asking her to turn in and stop and look at me. And this is how you start breaking down to teach the waltz. Eh? You wanna make sure you have that stop where they turn and they stop and face you instead of just turning and going on. So you wanna stop, get their attention. And then when I'm first working on it, I have them just stop and then continue changing directions. There again, I'm asking her to stop, wait for me to tell her what to do next, and then continue with the turn. And there's a stop and a focus. And now I'm gonna ask her to turn away from me and do the waltz. A. So you see, I'm pushing on that same shoulder to get her to turn back in the same direction. That's how you get the waltz. A. There's you asking her to come in. And if you watch where my whip is, I'm using it there on her left shoulder and continuing to push her away from me and around. And obviously she already knows this, she's, so she's doing it pretty well, even though I'm breaking it down into steps. And it is really common when you're first teaching this, particularly if you've been working really hard on teaching them only to turn into you for your uh, changes in directions, they might get a little bit panicked the first time they spin and show their butt to you. So uh, that's normal and not anything to be worried about. So you see there, she does wait for me to continue telling her and I like to have that control. So this is something um, I actually do just to work on the quality of her waltz eh, and make sure she is listening to me and not just rushing into what you saw at the beginning as soon as I started acting like I might want to do the waltz, she just did it. Um, and I really want them to pay attention and do what I'm asking them to do. And that's how you're able to work up and create more interesting patterns is being able to take each step and then break them down. And there it is at full speed. So you see when I'm doing the waltz, I always keep the whip and the hand that's behind. So in that case, it's the right hand. And there I got a sharper turn out of her. So it really is just a progression, building it step by step um, and making sure you have the first step solid before you try to move forward and ask too much out of your horse. It's really easy when they, they start doing well at one step to want to just hurry up and get the next steps. 
um, but you need to appreciate what your horse has given to you each day and find out what is the proper space to stop for them when they've learned the best. So thanks again for joining us and uh, we'll release another episode of Equestrian Alchemy next month. Uh, make sure to subscribe and uh, follow our channel. And if you'd like to see the rest of our adventures, go ahead and check out our Patreon page, which is where all of our exclusive material is gonna be released. And when we go on our 1200 mile ride through the Rocky Mountains here in July, uh, Patreon will be the only place to get um, current updates on that while I'm on the ride. I won't be active on social media while I'm out there. So thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time.